you obviously have an incredible game. You just a couple weeks ago, I believe you had to leave the bubble and we were all very obviously very worried because we had just talked to you. We had just sent you uh, not a great assortment of candies, but I guess there wasn't a lot of options down there. Is it That's okay? All you guys right there, bro. Okay. Yeah. That's all you guys. Yeah. But then you had to leave. And yeah. by the way, taking out the second bed to create more room for activities. Very smart. That was very smart for you. Uh, are you okay? What happened? Happy to see you back and having a great game. No, uh, it's crazy. Um, so I, I basically was having like these weird kind of chest pains. It was like after the game, I was, I was, uh, I was eating and I was going to sleep and I started feeling like almost like a, it felt like, like heartburn. But then it just started getting way, way worse. And then it's, I kind of got, like, debilitating, like, chest pains. Damn. So I called I called the other team doc, and he came and checked me out. And then I was like, no, I need to go to, like, the fucking ER. Like, something's wrong. And so I went there, tested. We did a whole bunch of, uh, you know, tests on, like, the heart, EKGs, all that other shit. Uh, all that shit came back good. Oh, boy. And then we went to a specialist, and they said that basically that I had stomach acid get into my esophagus. And it's caught, and it causes it to like starts to spasm. Oh. So like my chest, my fucking chest to like my stomach was like just tightening and tightening. It was getting tighter and tighter. It was like hurting to breathe and like all types of shit. So it was weird. It was just a weird freak accident and just kind of happened. But they gave me some shit to take. So hopefully I'm gonna be fine. So you go into the hospital overnight. What are the tests they run? They just want to see like you did an EKG, you said and everything like that. Could yeah, they not they, figure it out? They did some blood work. They did a bunch of blood work. They did um they put an EKG to me. Um after that it kinda just was they give me IVs, asked me a ton of questions. Um, but pretty much like everything was just kinda back normal. So they were like, Okay, maybe we're just gonna send you to a specialist. It was like a um a gastric specialist or something like that. And um he was kinda like I was describing my symptoms to him and he was kinda telling me, Okay, this is probably what happened, I can give you something for it. And then he actually gave me medicine for, like, the actual, like, spasm. So if I ever start having that again, it would be something to take the pain away. Uh, this has never yeah. happened to you before, yeah? Actually, yeah. Like, um, actually, two and a half months ago. Like, yeah, it was wild. I, I really thought I thought I was going to die. I didn't know what was happening because I woke up and everything was normal. And I just, like, felt like this weird, like, this, like, heartburn. And then I was going to my, um, me and my wife were going to her friend's house. And just on the way, I was like, yo, something's wrong, like. I couldn't stop, like, I couldn't sit still. I was just tripping, like, my chest was hurting. It was just, got, it got really bad. I was, like, in a fetal position in the car. And she had to pull over. I was, like, on the side of the road, just, like, like on the ground. It was bad. Damn. Had to... Well, I'm happy you're all right. I'm happy we figured this out so you get some medicine so you don't have to be in a fetal position ever again. Uh, ever is... again. It was bad. It lasted, like, the pain was constant. It was probably for, like, maybe an hour and a half. Oh, man. Oh.